In this video, we're going to learn what a blockchain is and how you can go and create your own a blockchain. Nothing I tell in this video is financial advice. Always do your own research before investing any money. Hit the like button and let's get into today's video. So first of all, we're going to understand a little bit about what a blockchain is. Blockchain technology was introduced in 2008 by an anonymous person called Satoshi Nakamoto, who is the creator of Bitcoin. Blockchain technology basically is a digital ledger technology. Now, the simplest way to explain this is if you're sending money to someone through a bank, there's a transaction that's going to be created. That information is recorded by the bank. So you're sending money to the bank. The bank then gives the money to someone else and it creates a piece of information on a ledger. Let's just think of a ledger as like a piece of paper. Now, blockchain technology works in kind of like a similar way. But if you are to send a bit of Bitcoin or something to another person, it would also create a transaction. But that transaction, instead of going onto that piece of paper in the bank, goes onto a block and creates various different blocks. Now, all of those transactions together create one block. So once the block is full of transactions, it will then create another block. But the last transaction from the first block gets put onto the next block and this continues all the way along. This means that the next block becomes part of a chain, i.e. the blockchain. And it's this part of the technology that means that each block can't be changed at all because it would break the chain. And this is what makes it such a unique piece of technology because each of those blocks is created in a different place around the world rather than being all centralized in one place and hence is a decentralized and this is what gives rise to the name of decentralization or in this case decentralized finance and here we can see the few of the properties of the distributed ledger technology which is basically what creates the blockchain you see it's programmable uh, in that it could create different smart contracts for example on the ethereum network it uses smart contracts so it's not just for finances you can also keep information stored in this way whether that be ownerships of things like nfts pictures or whether that be ownerships of houses, ownerships of artwork, you get the picture guys, you can use it for all sorts of different things. It's extremely secure because it's encrypted and it can't be altered at all because no one has overall ownership. It's anonymous. So although you can see the different transactions that are happening, you can't see who those different wallets belong to, which is also very cool. And it's unanimous. All network participants agree on the validity of each of the records. So each block is formed from part of a network and the network is agreeing on that block's creation and it's distributed all network participants have a copy of the ledger okay so it means everyone can see the ledger at all given times and therefore it can't be tampered with unlike banks having the ability to do it which they did back in 2008 and that's ultimately what caused the recession back then the immutable any and it's also immutable any validated records are irreversible and cannot be changed and a time stamped so different blocks created at different times Obviously, you can now understand a little bit about why blockchains are so powerful and so useful. So how do we create one? Well, you can actually go and create your own block quite easily. And this is linked down below, guys. If you want to go and check out more detailed description of this after through bulletin.com, how to create your own blockchain from scratch. So we can see here that we will use a programming language called Golang. And for speed, endurance and security, most blockchain core engines are built on C or C++, Bitcoin, EOS, etc. Hyper, Ledger, Fabric, Ethereum, Java, Ethereum, Rust, Haskell. Now, these names all probably sound pretty foreign to you unless you are a developer. They are basically coding languages. In the back end of a website, you have code, which looks like kind of crazy loads of numbers and letters if you've never seen it before. And this ultimately is what creates the website, or in this case, the blockchain. Okay, so there's two different ways in which you can build your own blockchain, okay? some of which are more complicated and require a lot of background knowledge. But don't worry, if you're non-technical like me, you can still do it through various other means. The easiest way is to use a pre-built blockchain open source like Ethereum to create distributed applications, altcoins, decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Fabric configure a private blockchain and EOS or Kadar and you can do this on EOS or Cardano so that you don't have to deal with the core engine, which is also difficult to implement. If this doesn't fit your requirement, then you can build one from scratch or fork modify. Fork basically taking an existing blockchain and kind of moving off away from the blockchain using part of that as the base. And this will improve existing a blockchain open source code. For example, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Cash were forked from Bitcoin 
this last method is tougher, more time consuming, and requires a lot of work and a strong team. So obviously need more technical people to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna discuss creating a blockchain from scratch in Go. So basically you can create a block. You can then add the data, the header and the body to the block. Remember we need the header and the last part of that block in order to create the blockchain because the next block will take on that information. Now to use the Golang or Go language development tool, you can just come across to go.dev and you can see you can just download it here and then you can get started putting it in your code. Very, very simple and you can do this at home. These are the companies that use this right now. We've got Google, PayPal, American Express, Meta, some of the world's biggest digital companies and this is very cool. So once you've downloaded Golang from GoDev, uh, you basically just need to create different folders, okay? So you can create one here with two files in it, mango and block.go. You basically just need to copy this text in as we go and then very straightforward. Then you can see that this is a very simple code and this is basically the code that you need to create. If you run this program, it will show error because the create block function is not defined yet. So go ahead and create it in block go. And you can see down through this list is all of the details of how to go and create your own blockchain from scratch. We just created a simple Go program that's called, and you can see from all of this above, you'll be able to create a Go program that calls functions and passes some string data, and then you can add more files, like blockchain Go and structures. And now you have four files, main Go blockchain. And then you can see, moving on to the next phase, you can hash your block, which you can do here through this part of code, and then at the end, go to a block go, which obviously does take a lot more time to implement all of this. You can pretty much copy this and paste it in guys, and it will then allow you to run it. And then once you've created all your blocks, you then just put your blocks together in the blockchain and it's just gonna create a baby blockchain for you in Go. Very simple. So all you gotta do guys, go across to go.dev, download the tool, you can copy this code in and create your own blockchain just by following this set of instructions here. So in summary, there's lots of different reasons why you might want to create your own blockchain. Maybe that be for an NFT project. Maybe that be for uh, something else that you need to run on your website, or maybe just because you're curious and you want to know more about how these things work. Coding can look a bit overwhelming, but all you've got to do in this case is just follow the step-by-step process on bulletin.com which is linked down below in the description along with go.dev so you can go and try that out today create your own mini blockchain guys if you enjoyed today's video then hit the like button for me if you want to learn more about blockchain technology nfts crypto trading and so much more then make sure you subscribe to be kept up to date with all of the latest happening thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon in the next video Bye bye